is Janet and welcome to day six of the Because We Can Readathon Travel Edition. The readathon is really close to being over and yes I am pre-filming this but I'm just anticipating that future me is both a little sad about that because the second readathon's almost over but also kind of happy about it because readathons are a lot of work. They're a lot of fun but they're a lot of work. Your host for today is Kat and today's challenge is the Transformation Challenge. We want to see you either create a scene or scenery from a novel or transform a room in your house into a fictional location. Considering we are at the moment all stuck staring at the same four walls, we figure it might be a nice change to switch things up a little. If you want to enter your attempt at today's challenge, you need to make sure you head on over to the official YouTube page and check out Kat's official host video for today because that is where you will need to leave a link to your entry in order for it to be counted. You have until the readathon ends in your time zone to get the entries in, but you better hurry because there are only two days left. I have to admit, I did struggle a little bit with this challenge and it sort of got me thinking, oh no, did we make something too hard? What have we done? But then it hit me. <laughs> Once I had that idea that it like hit me like a ton of bricks, okay? Once I had that idea, it's, I took it and ran with it and I'm actually pretty happy with how it all turned out. Although I do have to say a formal apology to the environment for this video because I think I single-handedly killed an entire tree and that's horrible and terrible and I feel really bad about it, but like hopefully it was worth it. So formally, environment, I am so sorry. <laughs> so here we go on my transformation challenge. Yeah, and once again, environment, I am so sorry. <laughs>
to Finch's bedroom from All the Bright Places. This video is probably the one that took me the longest to film and only because it took forever to write out all those post-it notes and then just as long to stick them all on the wall. I am for sure though going to recycle them immediately because I still feel so bad for, I feel like it's not really like a waste of paper but it's also kind of a waste of paper and I feel awful. But I mean, at least it kind of looked good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of my video. Did I nail my transformation or did it not look like Finch's bedroom? room and just look like I'd stuck a bunch of post-it notes on the wall because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.